In this tutorial, we're going to convert TLC or C3D motion files into ASFMC or BRH motion files format. TLC or C3D motion files, they are about the 3D markers position and they're usually used by optical motion capture system. BBH AS or, or ASFMC motion files formats, they are about the skeleton hierarchy and they, they define the movements using the joint orientations. In order to do so, we should first create the template file, which is this one that I've done here. Um, this is an editor. It basically contains a marker set that defines the mapping between the surface marker and the editor. The methods to create this editor template was explained in previous tutorials. Please refer to them if you have a problem creating it. Once we have the editor template, we can import some motion and today I have some C3D motion. I can import multiple tr um, C3D motion. Um, you can see that there is some problem in reading or writing C3D in Motion Builder. So the start time is not actually starting from zero. So I need to change them manually. And you can see that uh, the import motion will be distributed into individual tracks. So this is the first one and this is the second tracks. You can import even more. So the first thing we need to do is to select a random tracks and then select an editor. We then drag all the markers from the viewer to the editor setting window. And your editor should be following your marker set. If across multiple tracks you have the same naming conventions for all, for the markers, or uh, also if you have captured the same uh, actors using the same sessions of motion capture, then motion builders should be able to match the rest of the tracks automatically for you. As I've mentioned before, BVH or ASFMC they are both the um, skeleton hierarchy. But as you can see, this actor it doesn't actually have a skeleton. So what we need to do next is to drag in a character that has a skeleton. You can use any character as long as they're rig and they have a skeleton inside. And you can drag them in and use it. Um, on the other hand, you can build your own bone structure as well. And once you build your own bone structure, you can um, characterize it to tell motion builder that this is a character. Sorry. And once we select this character, uh, we ask it to follow the actor. So our character is basically this time um, is a um, bone structure without any surface mesh. So you will see that once you ask the character to follow the actor, it will move with the actor. You will notice that um, the step size between the actor and the characters, they are slightly different. This is because they have different body dimensions and this is a process called motion retargeting. You can enable or disable this in the character definition setting. All right, once you have done this, you'll be able to export the BVH motion file. However, there's a very important step that you need to do first. Currently, the motion is stored in the actor and the character which is our bone structure is simply following the actor so it doesn't have any motion in within itself what we need to do is to copy the motion from the actor to the character here and this is a process we call plot character so basically we plot the motion from the actor into the skeleton of the character since we have multiple C3D file, we plot all the, all the text and plot it. Okay, now the motion is stored within the character, which is our bone structure here now. So we can now export it as the BVH. It's a bit difficult to select it in the viewer plane. So um, I select branches here in the navigator. And then we click file motion file export.
just give a name I will need to delete our old motion first okay so um, these two tracks are our C3D track so we wish to export those uh, again, as you can see, uh, Motion Builder has some problem exporting um, C3D files, so I will need to manually define the frame rate and the samples. All right, and then I export it. So now, to verify our results, we can um, start up another motion builder program. And then we import our generate motion, which are these two. Import. And you should be able to see that um, the, car the, 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 the BVH now contains the skeleton hierarchy of the generate movement. All right.